How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to the Algol Star System and the world of Fantasy Star 4. With Rika now in our party, and Seed having destroyed himself for the sake of saving the world. Level up for Rika there. It's time to make for Zeo. Well, specifically, it's time to make for Zeo's fort. Now, Rika comes into the party at level 1, but like Nay, she levels up faster than most of your other characters. At least at the early going. As is evidence that by in two battles in a row, she's gained a level up. A couple of Locustas. You might recognize these enemies, as they played a big role in uh, the first Fantasy Star. Only they would always face you front on in that game, they had a smaller profile. This is back to Nalia. Ah, this is here. Okay, well, the wreckage is a little side dungeon. And we are going to take the time to explore it. Let's go ahead and we will rest really quick. Nalia as a town has obviously seen some better days. You know, right after the meteorite fell, some kind of army came rushing across the bridge from the west. And then, just when we had thought they returned to the west, they found the bridge destroyed. I wonder if they came from Ideo. Who in the world were they? You're talking nonsense again. Has the meteorite made you dim-witted? About three months ago, a large meteorite fell just outside of town. And look what has happened. What in the world did we do to deserve this? Huh, I wonder what exactly this is going about. This is apparently a shop. Welcome to the tool store. What do you need? Eh, nothing from you. No, I don't. This town may be doomed. It may be a smart idea to relocate as soon as possible to somewhere like Aido. Aido. Why was my house destroyed and the house across the street was not? It's not fair, don't you agree? It makes me so mad. I can stop ignoring my friend now, can't I? I want to be friends and play together again. Hey, hey, let's just accept our lot. My wife didn't used to be like this. Nothing new to say here, I see. This place was our home. Oh well. It may be that just coming out of it alive was a miracle. Yeah, this town's pretty wrecked. See what the rest of the people have to say. I'm happy that this house was miraculously saved, but we get harassed every day. If this is the way it's going to be, I'd rather it was all destroyed. The lady across the street who used to be so kind is now ill-tempered all the time. I just can't trust anyone anymore. My friends don't talk to me anymore. I'm so lonely. Wah. Disaster, not definitely not bringing out the best in people here. Hey, doesn't it look like there's a machine in the middle of that big hole? We want to see what it is, but on the other hand, it's kind of scary, and no one dares go near it. Rain leaks into the other room. That's why we're sleeping in this room. Mommy, the wind is cold. We don't have the money to fix the house. What should we do?
thought it was kind of neat that they actually uh, went to the lengths to modify the texture inside the house to show it ruined. This house was safe, but considering what's coming, I have a feeling it would be better if we moved. I have no idea where we would go. It's so hard to live a pla leave a place where you've lived for so long. This is the town of Nalia, but I don't think it's inhabitable anymore. Well, this town's definitely seen better place. Let's go investigate this meteorite that fell. Love the music in here, by the way. Ow! That kind of damage isn't a pleasant start. No, 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 no. Alice don't need to be healed. You do, Han. Oh! That was close. Alice level up. Rika, ooh, level slash. I, sorry, guys. I just can't help myself with this all. Let's see. Another three whistles. Let's take them out. One down. Ah, she missed one. Ooh. Now, well, Han was still able to finish it. Han levels up, learns Zahn, which, as you all well know, is a wind tech. Two whistles this time. And those are down. Two Warren 286s. These seem similar to a lot of the attack robots we fought in Fantasy Star 2. Rika level increased again. See, before we go that way. We got another door here. Ah, chests. A ceramic shield and five, 1,500 messages. I'm going to go ahead and have Han toss a heal on Rika. And a heal on Alice. Actually, I think I'll have him... Didn't realize it, but Chaz is a bit down, too. Grizz is okay. Sorry guys, I can't help myself. Just love the music in this place. Stop missing stuff, damn it. Stop trying to kill Han, damn it. You guys in the missing. Ooh. Mate. Everybody else should be okay for now. I think this is quite where we want to go. Let's go the other way first. Two whistles. Colors comes to worst. We're right outside of town. We can always just... Do a Kinos and Ryuka our way there. Level up for Grizz. Okay, 
that is broken. Two tracers. These ought to be a little more dangerous. Let's see what we got. Missed. Ooh. Definitely taking a few hits to kill. Chaz is going to need a heal here. Ceramic knife. Is that any better than what he's got right now? Must have been some kind of satellite or space station that fell. Three whistles and a tracer. Still nothing that hits everything for him. This could actually be pretty deadly if we're not mindful here. Chaz is in trouble, though. Hopefully we can kill this thing before I can kill Chaz. There we go. And Chaz and Rika both level up. Looks like we're seeing a step up in the enemies on this level. Another three whistles and a tracer. Ooh, big damage on Alice. It. And it looks like Grizz needs to top off too at this point. This, they're life flashing. I know what it is. Move over, Chaz. Wow, pretty impressive. It's a pretty hard security code to break, but there. We can now access the main computer's memory. What's this? Look, it says that this is the spaceship that escaped from Parma a thousand years ago. What? Really? But... Parma exploded a thousand years ago. Oh, you know about that? Yes, I learned about it at the Academy. Parma, the first planet of the Valgol star system, was destroyed in AW1284 when the artificial satellite Gyra crashed into it. Today, the only vestige of Parma is in the asteroid belt. But there were people that were able to escape. According to the records, just before the explosion, some people were able to escape. This spaceship was damaged and became trapped in orbit around Motavia. They floated around in space until all the humans aboard died, but the computer was able to sustain itself with its self-repairing mechanisms. They all... died? According to the flight chart, the orbit slowly decayed over the last thousand years. The ship finally crashed here. Then... that means all the Parmanians perished? Wait, this is not the only ship that escaped from Parma. It seems that other, similar ships were able to escape successfully. Most of them landed either in Motavia or Desolus, but it looks like some of them went right out of the Yalgol star system. I can't get an accurate number, but it looks like some tens of ships. So they're still continuing their flight, somewhere in the universe. Let's 
go ahead and do a Hinos to get out of here. Rest up. And let's continue our journey. Which leads us back where we all started. We're back in IDEO. Ah, we're finally home. Shall we take it easy for the rest of the day? Okay, let's be up bright and early tomorrow. Well, this is as good of a place as any to go ahead and wrap this episode up. The difficulty takes another fairly steep increase upon leaving here. So I'm going to take a little more time to level up and buy some of the equipment in this town, which is really expensive. Next episode, when we return... We will communicate with the people of IDEO, and we will head forward and continue our trek towards Zio's Tower. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like, subscribe, and favorite. Throw any feedback you may have into the comments below. And we'll see you next time when we return once more to the Algol Star System for Let's Play Fantasy Star 4. Farewell.